All right, folks, today we're going to talk about getting ready for that pre-recession. Now, I haven't used this term, and I think to be more accurate to give you better insights, we need to start using that. 2006, I noticed a change in the economy. It wasn't really called until 2008. Now, why should we talk about the pre-recession? Typically, a recession is two or more consecutive quarters of downward growth, right? But that's the whole United States economy. We have certain sectors that are in a recession. Make no mistake about it. Retail is in a recession or depression, if you will. And other industries are going that way. And unemployment is super low. That's another signal. And due to this wonderful tax cut that is going to hurt more people than it's going to help, um, our tax receipts are going to go down. So we, we have all of the ingredients and everything for a ugly, prolonged economic contraction. We already have that. Now, one of the reasons that I made some decisions starting last 2017, I made some decisions. I got rid of my offices. I, I, I'll even get personal. My personal monthly expenses are around 4,500 bucks per month. That's my personal expenses. Um, business expenses are significantly more, but business makes money, so it pays for itself. Uh, I have no car notes. I have two cars. I have no credit card debt. So my previous monthly nut was higher because I had so much other expenses, and I am pretty much debt free other than the house. Now, why am I in this position? Because when this pre -rece this recession really kicks off, you're going to be in a point, let's say you have a hundred bucks cash, right? Your hundred dollars cash is going to be like worth 500 to a thousand because other people will not have cash. So you want to start loading up on the cash. This is something I've been preaching. And I made these decisions 24 months because I figured we had a 24 to 36 month window before everything went ugly and dark. And this is why you have, you know, I'm showing you, you know, this is what I'm doing. You can actually see that, you know, their Valencia's gone, Patty's gone, the offices are gone. I was making moves while times were good so I can be set up for the recession. And the pre-recession, because there will be, and let's just be honest about this. Houston, Texas may not even be part of a recession. Because it's an energy state. Uh, Texas has always, you know, people were still flipping houses and doing stuff in Texas because Texas is its own economy, so to speak. And so is California. So when you have someone from Texas like, man, things are good here. I don't know what you're talking about, Glenn and Cameron. Well, that's just you looking in your backyard. You're not looking at the totality of everyone. Like I posted some on my Facebook page. While the children of middle class black families often end up being poor adults. And I know there are many people who are like, I don't want to hear about no white people. I'm just down for the black people. Whatever. Uh, I tend to look at everything because everything's a system. And one of the things that is happening is many people who normally would not be impacted by these economic events are being adversely impacted, and these people would be white. Um, one of the reasons, and I, I disagree with some of the sentiments that immigrants do better here is, you know, people are like, uh, they're protected, they set up certain things for them. You got to think, there's something different about a person that's going to leave their family, their country, everything they know to come to this weird place called the United States. There's just something different about these people before they even get over here. And... We're going to also talk about stunting. Like, you know, over the years, I have shown you, if you're a Facebook friend, you'll see 
the house, you'll see how I live, you'll see the cars, you'll see it in videos. There's a reason I've done that. We're about to go through a tsunami, an economic tsunami in certain online business models. And this is why we're going to get into some of the stuff in investing yourself and income metamorphosis. And I'll talk about that in a minute. One of the problems that so many people have here is they believe in false narratives. Um, like with the, let's just call them the, the people who chase trends. Remember when Amazon Kindle was a big thing and people were trying to do Amazon Kindle and drop shipping and Amazon FBA and niche sites and all of this stuff. Now everything makes money. Everything makes money if you know how to make it make money. And people just kind of drop around, move to this thing, move to this thing. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, during this next economic downturn, when a lot of these schemes will not work, because they're predicated on everybody having disposable income and everybody will not have disposable income. Um, you're going to see people disappear. You're going to see people close out their Facebook page. You're going to see people start hiding because right now it's very hard to hide. And you will not see me lose a car because they're paid for. You will not see me lose my house because there's money in the bank. You will not see me close my business. If anything, you're going to see me aggressively expand because everyone else is pulling back. And that's kind of what I'm sitting around waiting on. That's why I'm not spending a lot of money on advertising right now. I'm just waiting for the big meltdown because the cost of advertising will go down because there's less people advertising. There's less people to compete against certain keywords. There's Oh, it's just so many things that happen. And you will see some people that you know of big names, some people, YouTube channels, some people with a uh, big Facebook following, they are gonna literally disappear because their business model is predicated on a trend. And hold on, let me get in here real quick. And I'm going to explain some stuff uh, for everybody that is an H undergrad. My assistant is sending you an email with a link to get you into income metamorphosis. This will be the monthly fee site, uh, money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. That is your basic financial education. That's pretty much that's done. I think I got one more thing to do in there. And this is currently what we're working on investing yourself, the tools you need for consistent side income, consistent side income. If you're basically following trends, not running a real business, this is what's going to happen to you. Like I, I know people who were making a million dollars a year following trends, um, Amazon merch, M M M FBA, and then Amazon changed the rules and they were scrambling. They were like, I know some people, and I'm not mentioning they Amazon literally put them out of business. And these people were making a million or two dollars a year and taking home anywhere from two fifty to five hundred thousand. And I kept saying, look, you need to take that money and do something else with it. No, nah, man, Amazon, Glendon, you and your YouTube channel, whatever, Glendon. And now uh, two of them, you can't find their Facebook pages anymore because they're so ashamed. I'm serious. This is you're going to see this just one of the reasons that I stun and, and, and talk about where my neighborhood is, because when this thing melts down, you're going to see who the real business people are versus the pretenders. And there's a lot of pretenders out there. And this is going to be the core of investing yourself. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is teach you how to isolate a business that you can turn into full-time income and consistent income. Because see, it, it's it's a little, the relationship's a little inverted. Typically, the things that you can do to scale up really fast and get that money coming in, you actually cannibalize the long-term profitability of the business model. I know that sounds kind of strange, but anything that you can start up pretty quickly 
start making money fairly fast. Um, it's going to be disruptive. It's going to be cannibalized. Let's take Uber. Early Uber drivers were making cake. Uh, take Amazon FBA. Early Amazon FBA adapters were making crazy money. Early Kindle people, I was an early Kindle people. I was doing selling my book on Amazon Create Space. I had more people buying my book from Amazon at $99.99. Sometimes I would sell 10, 30, 40 a day at 99 bucks, seven days a week. So, but I was an early adapter. I was an early adapter to YouTube. I was an early adapter to a lot of stuff. So one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to flesh out these business models. And this is why it's going to be behind the paywall, because uh, I'm very excited. Like yesterday, I was working on some stuff for in investing yourself. And I literally passed out at eight o'clock and woke up at 12, then kind of fall, fall around and went back to bed. And I, I was up at five this morning and did the treadmill, had my meal, did some content. And now I'm here. Part of this journey of going for, because I, I mean, I've been doing a lot of research because once again, I don't want to create something that already exists. I don't want to deepen a false narrative, if you will. And most financial advice is designed to keep you broke or slowly getting rich. You know, it's the thing which is doable. But I got a question. If you had the ability to reach the same destination in 10 years versus 50, what would you pick? Once again, a lot of the stuff is coming in line, two to five years, five to 10 years. Um, that's what other people are talking about. This is where a lot of other people are right now. They're coming back to the G way of thinking because it's getting to the point where people can't hide, people can't fake stuff, and you gotta see some results from your guru or whomever you're with. You, you got to see some results. And people need to be bringing some results. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. So let's talk about consistent side income and getting ready for this during the pre-recession. Why you want to start making moves during the pre-recession, start stacking cash, is you can. Once, and let's talk about the recession, because, you know, I've had this argument with uh, stock market people and the stock market has been good to them and traders and the traders has been good to them. So they don't want to hear anything about a recession. They're like, there will not be a recession this year. Now, I guarantee you, we already have parts of this important economic indicators. We're already in recession. But the country at whole is not in recession. That's why I call this the pre-recession worksheet. So number one, you got to get yourself out of debt. I, I, I mean, that, that should be priority one. I know many of you feel that you could start a hustle and ball out and take vacations, do all this stuff and get out of debt. It, it's just not going to happen for most people. Most people can't get enough escape velocity to make that happen. But what will happen is if you get out of debt, then you start looking at what's going to be coming in the future. Let's talk about social media. You notice that I, I pretty much stick to YouTube. I've had a face, few Facebook groups. Um, Instagram, once Facebook bought it, I knew what was going to happen, and it's happened. You need to get on a platform that can give you more reach than, say, a blog or an Instagram page. And also, demographics are very important for Instagram. Who's using Instagram? Is your grandma on Instagram? Well, if you want to have a product for elderly people and they're not on Instagram, where do you find these people? I'm going to say something. A lot of y'all going to hate me. Fox News. Grandma and grandpa still watching Fox News. Grandpa and grandpa still reading newspapers. Grandma and grandpa still looking at billboards. Now, in the future, that will change because once millennials slide up and everything, um, it's the funniest thing. You know, millennials will not use someone that you cannot make an online appointment. Millennials do not like talking to people on the phone. 
it is the weirdest thing. They they will text you all day. Anyone ever call up a millennial and it was like, why are you calling me? Hang up and text me. <laughs> that happened a few times. I was like, and I called him right back. I was like, look, this this is real simple. We can get this over with. But a lot of the things that you see today, because one of the things that I am prepping um, moneyincomeprofit.com is for the future. I'm not doing this quote for today. I'm doing this for the future. So you're going to see a lot of different things here that no one else is doing yet. You will like right now, my YouTube model. People are starting to like, hey, wait a minute. I got two, three million subscribers and you make way more money than I do. What, what, what's that? And this, this is something else, too. If you have a YouTube channel and you have two or three million subscribers, you have built that YouTube channel to get views, which is good. You can make a lot of money getting views. Uh, you've built that channel to get sponsors, which is cool. You can make a lot of money making sponsors. But you have not built that channel or optimized that channel to make the most money possible because you are getting a piece of the action versus the whole cake. When I sell a product, I get the whole cake. I get the icing. I get the cake, the first layer, the second layer. I get the batter. I get the leftover. I get everything. But when you are having a channel where your money's coming from sponsors or certain things like that, you're like YouTube uh, AdSense. Whatever your AdSense payout, double that. That's the money that that channel's earned. I think last month I did fifteen hundred. So actually, I did three thousand. But because YouTube say, "Look, man, you know we letting you use our servers. Uh, we, we're actually still giving you a lot of organic reach." And I can't say, "Hey, you know what? I can't complain. Can't complain at all." But if you start on the YouTube channel and you do not build your channel from day one to make money, you're gonna be in trouble once this thing hits because uh another thing that's going to happen and this is if you build your business on the trend is when the contraction happens a lot of people are going to stop advertising and you're going to see youtube ad revenue go down for poor performing channels uh the channels that perform very well people will be still throwing money at them but if you, you the youtube's already did phase one of that it's almost like a six sigma like if you don't have thousand subscribers if you don't have four thousand hours you can't even get into the adsense program expect that to go up those qualifications to go up so so we're going to do some very different different things very very different uh let's see what's up melinda jerry westbrooks johnny walden kareem crep junkie good morning what's up anthony johnson the blinding Buddha. Uh, everybody loves. <laughs> Do you think the trouble is in having negotiation skills? You mean the lack of negotiation skills? Well, if you're going to have a negotiation, what do you have to negotiate with? A lot of people try to do negotiations. They, they don't have nothing to negotiate with. There's charm. There's, um, there's that. But what do you negotiate with? What's up, Jeffrey Johnson? Jeffrey Jackson, my bad. Uh, yes, this depression is really going to mess up a lot of people because we have the government that's in debt. We have many millennials who are in double digit. Some are in triple digit student loan debt. It's a big thing. Crep Junkie TV worked in the dot com industry back in 2000. And mortgage broker in 2008 getting caught up in the wrong side of a trend. Damn sure not getting caught out for a third time. Yeah, because these trends, when the trend is hidden, it is raining money. It, it, it's going to make it rain. And the longer the trend goes on, and this is something that I, I probably need to write down. I need to write down the, the money addiction. Uh, money addictions are when you become accustomed to making money a, a certain way. I was addicted to making money with storage auctions. I mean, there was a lot of cash money. There was all of these, oh, wow, look at this. Well, look at this. These treasure hunts. These, I was addicted to it. I just couldn't see any other way of making money. And since I was making more money than the average person, actually more money than a doctor, 
I, I, I thought this was going to go on forever. And then some things happened. I got sick. My partner was diagnosed with cancer. And, oh, this is not going to keep going on. What am I going to do? I, I honestly didn't know what I was going to do. I didn't really know what my next move was going to do. So be so I just sat down and wrote my book because I was like, what am I going to do? And when you become addicted to making money a certain way, whenever that source of money disappears, like this is this has been my big problem with Amazon FBA people. At some point, depending upon if you can if you can get an exit quick enough where you can build it up and you sell it and be done, fine, cool. But if you keep poking and playing around in there, Amazon's going to get you one day. And then what's going to happen is you're going to change parts of your personality to keep getting money that way because you're addicted to it. I mean, come on. All right. You, you go out, you do some product research, you find a, a certain category. And once you set that up, it's raining money. It's making it rain. Then here comes another competitor. Oops. Okay. My ranking went down. Oh, he's still in my sales. Then you got to start the process again. And this is what happens with people who are into trends. They're constantly seeking new business models or they'll recirculate because some people, um, you know, a few YouTubers, I'm waiting to see what happens to them because I find it very intriguing. I really do. Um, we will see. We will see. But if you want consistent side income, you must figure out a business model that you can get in on a low trajectory and then just keep arcing it up. Like a lawn service, lawn service, anybody can do, but a lot of folks don't know how to manage the crews. You could turn a simple, you and your truck and starting a lawn service, you can turn that into a multi-million dollar business, but you're going to have to come off the truck, come out the lawn more. You have to get into management people. You're going to hire people. You're going to have to have payroll, health insurance, workers comp, all this other stuff that you got to start dealing with. What's up, Christian? What's up, Trav? The blind and Buddha. I work in IT and it seems there is more contract work than there is full-time positions. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to see if I can actually open this up. Let's see. Give me a second. I'm playing around with this. Is it going to let me do it? Oh, I think it is. Nope, I don't want that. Nope, I don't want that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's not going to let me do it. Where is it? Let's see. Nope. <laughs> that didn't do it. Let's see. Uh, I want to show you all something. And this is actually for you YouTubers. People, you might like this aha okay all right so we got that going and let me open this up and th this is kind of behind the scenes stuff right here turn on the sound okay all right, cool. So let me open this up, make sure it's here. So th these are all the videos that are coming up or, you know, there's probably three or four that are not going to happen. But what you got to start doing is developing your coming videos like three, four and five weeks in advance. You want to have a bunch of topics, maybe some you can drop in that's kind of trendy. But this is all the stuff that's coming up. And some of this is going to be on separate channels. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. Um, financial freelancing. This is, you know, to the blinding Buddha's point. Financial freelancing. I don't know if it's going to open this. Ah. Uh, Okay, it went, that didn't, that's just open up another window. But financial freelancing, we're moving towards everyone becoming self-employed. 
Now, I know that sounds like a very overly ambitious statement. That sounds kind of crazy, right? But that's where we're heading. A lot of folks don't understand that yet. Um, going to actually, I, I'll show you this dude's name. Let me get rid of that. And I, I keep mentioning him because it's very important. Andrew Macca. MIT. All right. So let's go to the Google machine. And I'm going to actually show you some of my forecasting stuff. All right. So this is Andrew. They have been researching the nature of work. And his research investigates how information, information technology changes the way companies perform, organize themselves and compete. And that and that means how they hire. Right. Uh, he's been on 60 minutes and everything. Uh, the business impact of IT. So just kind of poke around on the Internet, see what he's talking about. And you will see that we're heading toward what I call free, free, free agent, freelancer nation. Any position that you can be contracted, that will. And they can cut out payroll taxes. And I'm like, well, well, well payroll taxes. Yeah, payroll taxes, 7% over a payroll of 2 million is big money. And that's, you know, that's payroll of 2 million a month. So that's that's like a million, $2 million back in your pocket. And all you did is just change their desk, their classification from being an employee to a contractor. You've done nothing else. And you just made a few changes. So this is going to be um, on steroids. You're going to find that many, many jobs are going to bring you on a contract basis. I'm talking secretaries. I'm talking truck drivers. I'm Uber. Uber's on contract. You know, you're 1099, man. This is where we're heading as a country. I don't know if that's going to be good. But once again, this is why. I have started this. See, I already see. And the thing is, it's not like people want to do this. There are some people like me and many of you who's like, I want to rule my life. I want to have my own destiny. I want to be the captain of my own economic ship. And there's a lot of folks like, look, man, I, I just want a little money, you know, rub on big booty, Betty, make a little extra. Well, these people are going to be forced into becoming self-employed and there there's it's, it's just a it's going to be a massive growth industry i'm talking massive because people are going to have to learn how to do taxes people are going to have to uh learn how to get business it's just a simple growth industry so that's what's coming up Uh, Big Boss Delaney. Big Boss Delaney just paid these credit cards off and my FICO score went down. What is going on? Well, I actually, when I was talking about credit, I know exactly what happened. You're going to have to, not a lot of money, but like a hundred bucks across a few cards and keep a balance. To get your score to go back up. I know it sounds crazy, but that's the way they're playing this game now. Oh, yeah, you got to keep them, man. You got to keep them, Rick. Okay, we just went ahead and hold on, hold on. <laughs> it just jumped on me. All right. So up, reigning woman. Nope, that 401k, we're going to start talking about a self-directed 401k. Not a lot of things a lot of financial companies talk about in future videos. All right. Mark Scott, trucking companies made the switch from company drivers to mostly owner operators to minimize their overhead about 10 years ago. Mm hmm You're going to see a lot more of that. Uh, Chiwana, I'm just going to say AGBO, 
The company I work, work for throws away so much furniture that I started to collect and resell like steel case chairs, all steel, and funded my eBay business. That's street money. That's street money. We did a video on that. Taking cast offs, finance, that's street money. That's, that's free money. That's free money. So, congratulations. Rock and Roll Diva, what's up? Oh, man, it's going to be crazy, Rons. I, I was a chaos. I just got my 1099. Dude, this this is what's happening. This is what it, it is. If you have all of the dots, if you're looking at all of the dots, you can actually see what's going to happen. It's it's inevitable. And also with the current administration and the current GOP Senate, they're going to put certain things in regulations that will take generations to undo. So if you really want to be an American, start a business. You want to be an American? Be corporate. You want to be an American? Get your own LLC. The, American, the United States of America is a corporation. To be an American, you need to be corporate. If you remember or if you didn't know, the only people who used to be able to vote were land owners. If you didn't own any land, your vote did not count. If you don't own a business, your vote will not count. <laughs> this is we, We've seen it. We have seen it, this thing happen over and over again. Uh, Christian, I spoke to an accountant. He said the government is doing away with 1099 employees. Didn't really make sense to me. And I went to the Google machine. Um, I don't really know what's going on with that. The government's a different, like me, I don't really mess with the government. I don't go after government contracts. I don't seek any free money from the government. I don't know. But I guarantee you with the current administration, they could possibly be working on reducing the government payroll. I can see that. What's up, Lamo? Big Boss 79, Pasquale. Oh, well, P Square. Thank you, Big Boss. Cash money. Is the money spent on money mansion, of course? Uh, cash money. Is the money spent on money management, of course, basics of finance supposed to count as a credit or discount for purchase of investing yourself, of course? Yes. Now, there's only one way you can get it. Uh, there's some people who's like, hey, I went and logged in and I, I didn't get, I was like, if I just left it wide open, everybody would be doing it, including the folks who did not buy the first course. So this week, what we're going to do is start sending out coupons to the people. We know who you are. We got your email address. So you'll get a coupon with probably 75, like uh, the early people, I'm probably going to do 100. So if you spent 75, you'll get 100 off. And that will come out directly through the course in your email box. You can't get it any other way. So hopefully that answers your questions. Box of Souls. I, I like to look at Uber, Lyft and Uber as entrepreneurship on training wheels. Uh, if you look at the guy who started Uber, yeah. Um, you're just a wage monkey if you're doing Uber and Lyft and you're not doing anything extracurricular. Uh, Roller Beats, what's your opinion on the freelance trucking that's on the rise? That's just part of free agent freelance America. What's up, Mentor, Sh Sh Mentor Shelly? Eyes of Chaos. Okay, yeah, you will get that this week, cache money. So hopefully that answers any questions. Um, part of this whole thing is with consistent side income is you gotta have a certain methodology and environment. As a person like me, when I first started trying to make money, I went through this whole process. I was trying to sell some crap out of a magazine. I, I did a little Janet King franchise at one point. That, that was a disaster. Uh, I tried to create uh, photos of me. I, I, I did so many things that were not rooted in solid business principles. Take, um, Take <laughs> take Junk Boy, aka Jeff Bezos, right? He for years took a lot of heat from Wall Street because he did what was in the best interest of a long term Amazon versus short term gains. And he's now the richest man in the world. So there you go. Yeah, you, you will get a coupon of that. What's up, Ebony Empire Rock and Roll Diva? 
Uh, Abraham Chavez, good morning. What cameras would you run? Your, I don't have a, your cell phone. You need to make 20, 30 videos with your cell phone to start figuring out what you need. Don't ever buy a camera based upon, oh, this is recommended. Buy a camera based on what you need to use it for. Like, I don't have it here. This camera here, I, I haven't figured out how to do it, but it can do 4K streaming, but I haven't, I got the computer, but for some reason it hadn't worked out. Um, this camera costs like 190. This uh, Zoom recorder was 400 bucks. And let's just say you had a regular computer. I mean, you can get in the game for like $600. Buy your cameras predicated on what you're shooting. Now, I have a lot of camera equipment because I have a lot of wild ambitions and stuff. But that should be your first thing. Like, what kind of videos am I going to do? And then go back and look for the camera. Well, it's going to happen now, Rick, this week. What's up, Freddie O? All right, so... um. Let's do this real quick. Let me come out of here. Oh, that that was ugly. There we go. All right. So this is what's going to happen. Uh, money management is the basics of finance and wealth development. This is the ground floor. This is to get your budget together. This is to get your mindset together. Now, investing yourself, we're going to get a little wild and esoteric. Because this is the path that I took. It may not be for everybody, but it's the only path that I know. I don't know anything else. And we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. And one of the first things that's going to come in here, uh, the principle of escalation, why you need to drastically increase your income. There's some stuff. Now, I have to do a lot of research before I create something. That's why it's taking so long. So just bear with me. And this part should be easy because this is something I do. But other things like you're going to love the money frame. I can tell you that right now. You're going to love the money frame because it's going to explain why many of you can't make money. Or if you somehow manage to start making money and then it just kind of peters out. Because when I was doing the storage auctions... I was told that it was a part-time endeavor, never do it full-time. Then in my mind, I had my mind set, I'm going to do this full-time. I did Craigslist. Uh, once again, this is something else that's supposed to be part-time. I saw the ability to do Craigslist full-time. But full-time did not mean selling out of my house. Full-time meant going out and getting a store space. And then the store space was... I mean, my partner and I, we looked at each other. We said, most of our money is coming from the Internet. Why do we have these stores? So we got rid of the stores and we went to a warehouse model. Then the warehouse model. And the more that I listed, the more that I sold, the more that I sold, the more money I got to buy more. The more that I listed, the more stuff I had, the more I sold. You see, that's the path it went on. And it became very simple. You have a lot of people who are looking at these things as they're too hard because they're trying to do it in their current frame. One of the biggest things I, I've ever did was come out of those storefronts because, you know, you have a store. This is why I, I did a video a long time ago. Don't open up a store. Do not open up a retail operation unless you have Internet income coming in to support because people just people. I guess it really started back then. People just don't shop the way that they used to in these little uh, flea markets and thrift stores. I'm seeing consignment stores go out of business. I'm seeing a lot of consignment stores go out of business. And I think it's because people are not consigning stuff. I think people are selling stuff. Why well, consign it when you can sell it yourself and get more money? I've seen one, two, four consignment stores just gone. They're, they're, I don't know if they're not renewing. Their, I don't know what it is, but they're, they've gone out of business. And if you think about it, consignment is a middleman between your product, you and the customer. So you get rid of that consignment. You can actually sell it for less and still make more money. So we're, we're going to talk about these concepts and frames a lot, a lot, because <laughs> it's very important that you get this stuff down. Yeah, just start using your phone because there's a lot to YouTube. And after I get all of this stuff set up, 
with you know money income and profit there will be a fourth tier and that's going to be doing what i do and i'm going to get into the it, it's not simple and that's one of the big problems that people have it is not even simple uh black caesar what's good uh this is the trajectory we're going on my assistant is going to handle all of the hustler h undergrad people first because they're still paying per month we get all them straight then we're going to look at in the next group of people there's some people just a few who are still paying monthly for disruptive mail going to do some for them and then i'm going to put out something for the hustler kung fu people as some kind of um is you know it's going to take what is today probably we should get through all of that this month but you know we, we're going to have no the h undergrad people first but there will be coming something. And there's going to be a whole different different thing with the LLC. Because there, there are people who are coming on YouTube. And this is another YouTube lesson. And I'll even get into it really, really quickly. When I made that video, How to Start a Business with No Money Down, it was a very successful business. I mean, a video. But from a business standpoint, it laid an egg. It was a turd because what it did was draw people who had no money. And this is why there's a lot of content for someone who's broke. This is why there's street money. This is, there's so many things that you can do. You may not want to do them, but if you broke, that, that, that's all I got to say on that. But many YouTubers put together... Um, stuff that gets views that's not conducive to a long-term business model uh it's almost the converse like when you can do something to make money real fast that's cool but you cannibalize the future and you'll see when i do the youtube course let's see there was one up in here I'm trying to go back real quick. Okay. I guess that was nothing. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, for people who are interested in certain things and want an accelerated view, there's a few courses that are under the stream. Because there's uh, the links to your basic financial course. There's the link to investing yourself. And that's current. I am not putting out a link to um, income metamorphosis. Because there's nothing there. And there's not going to be much of anything there until March. I just set it up so we can roll in the H undergrad people first. So they can actually get this content. And we don't have to keep sending out logins and getting people in. It's just one login. You get everything you need. Because investing yourself is going to be an ongoing concern. It's not going to be like, hey, there's some courses. There's going to be live streams for our webinars. I should say webinars for members only every month. And once I get all that together, you will see. What do you mean, Rons? What resources? Oh, I mean, I do a lot of research that's not, I mean... I read a lot of boring stuff, so kind of sharpen your question a little bit. And that's going to be it. Um, there will be more videos once I just get my program down because I'm trying to. It's, it's, it's a weird thing. I've gained weight, but I've been working out harder than I've had before it's muscle it's not all fat it's mostly muscle but still there's this thing I'm trying to do and it's this two workouts a day it's it's a, it's a chore to manage alrighty so it looks like we have nothing but haters trying to come into here now alright so mentor Shelly alright yeah I was having an interesting conversation with my banker yesterday who well one of them she just moved here and she said there's just all kinds of ways to make money here. So welcome, Mentor Shelly. 
All right, uh, I will see you guys later. Maybe another live stream, maybe a regular video. I do not know at the moment. But for those of you who want to be part of moneyincomeandprofit.com, you have your links below the video saying what it is. And these are the first two are one-time payments. There's not a monthly membership. So you spend your money once, you win. If you want to upgrade whatever you spend on that money, you'll get a coupon for that second course minus that because each course is going to have the basic finance in it because you know i'm building this for years in the future i'm not building this just for now and this is why it seems so odd and crazy uh runs i've been tapping into research papers and whatnot lots of the info is just dated um you okay i may do this as a stream you have to read a lot of pop culture stuff what you do is you find the story. Well, first of all, you must have a goal. That That's the important thing. I have a goal. Why am I looking for this stuff? I want to see what young people are doing and what they're not doing so I don't put it in this course. So that's my goal. So I'm out here reading all this stuff, watching all these videos. Like uh, the situation like on my page, matter of fact, hold on. I'm going to show you this. And I actually know exactly why this is happening. And a lot of people don't agree with me or they want to get um they want to get uh okay actually that's the wrong profile <laughs> so hold on why black middle class children grow up to be poor I discussed this like six, seven years ago. All right. So we'll, we'll get into this. All right. So here's an article. First of all, you want to make sure your sources are credible, like the Atlantic, NBC. And also you want to find out if there's three to four similar stories across other um, agencies or media outlets. Now, I'll look at this. And this is one of the things I talked about because... I actually did not come from a middle class family. I came from a poor family. Then I transcended to middle class and I transcended to upper middle class and I transcended to rich, which is very hard to do. And this is why I keep saying this hustler porn. Like, you know, if you ain't making like a hundred million in three years, you somehow crapped out on life. You, you don't understand how hard it is to make a hundred million dollars. There's literally 5,000 families in the United States, 5,000. Not 50, not 5,000 families with a net worth of 100 million or more. Just 5,000. So those numbers are eye popping and they're crazy. But nevertheless, get back on it. So you go into this, and this is one of the reasons I talked about environment. This is one of the reasons I talked about not living in the hood. Many people like hate the fact that I say that. If you have little children, one of the worst things you can do is to live in the hood. And people just hate that. And it's like, man, you know, you're being done kind of dude. It is just it is what it is. And you, once you start to read the data, get the data, get the information, you're going to start coming to some different conclusions. First, it says um, emotional knee jerk response type videos or rhetoric that create because I saw some stuff I'm not even going to speak on. I'm going to see how it turns out. But. Yeah, when you get in your research and you get into the data, you just come up with a whole set of different conclusions that are very a radical departure from the norm. So current news sources and you got to be able to gather the data, sift through the junk and pull out the jewels. It's a process. Erica, I was going to do another video about class. Man, people don't want to hear the truth, Erica. So many people do not want to hear the truth. It just don't. It matters. It matters. The black, you know, uh, the black upper class, they didn't live amongst the poor people. They had another section of the black town they live in. They didn't live next to Jojo the hobo. <laughs> they didn't do they ne This just never happened. 
uh, Christian, Uncle G, this point, there is such a thing as a middle class. Yeah, there is a middle class. The, you know, we want to just, you know, sometimes I'll say like, you know, there's those who have, and those, but that's actually not factual. There is a middle class. And the middle class is right under the upper middle class. And it's, it's like a bell curve. Because, like, once you hit 50 and below, $50,000 a year below, and you marry and got kids, you you and the, you messed up. Let's just put it this way. You messed up. You, but uh, I would say the middle class is, you know who the middle class is? It's these people making 70 to 100 k That's the true middle class. Many of them pre present themselves as upper middle class. They're not upper middle class. Upper middle class would be 150 to 200 k and then you know, two fifty and above, you 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 you're bordering the the area where you can become rich. But yeah, there's a middle class. That's that's these millennials, all these fire people. They're middle class, and that's why they're able to retire early because they have enough money to do it. They're not they're they're not upper middle class. They are middle class, and it ain't that many of them. <laughs> it's just not. Oh, let's see. Erica got five dollars super chat. Middle class black parents are not investing in tutoring. Certain colleges, networking opportunities, volunteering, and internship. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I was gonna go, but I'm gonna actually talk about this. I'm gonna share. How many of y'all heard of Jack and Jill? It's a black socializing group for elites, for black elites. Um, I've seen that how that works. These little kids go there and they meet up. And a lot of times, you know, they, they really don't really mess with each other too tough doing Jack and Jill. But later on, because that connection was made when they were kids, like I saw my old roommate. Last time I saw him was like 2000. But I know this dude, I, you know, it's been seven. God, yeah, like 15 years since we've seen each other. But I know this dude and there's a relationship that if he asked me to do some, I would do it versus a stranger. So these little connections that are formed when the people are kids and it's like, oh, yeah, I remember you from Jock and Jill. How you doing? How your mama doing? Hey, you know, could you help me uh, meet up with Barack? Sure, sure. Yeah, let me talk to some people. Probably a few. Boom. You, you just can't go out and buy that stuff later in life. <laughs> you just can't get that stuff. Uh, I could get to certain people right now based on relationships I've had for years. If I needed to get to some people. I'm not going to throw around names, but if I need to get to some people, I just like make a phone call because of someone I've known for 15, 16 years. Even though we don't talk on the phone every day, I haven't seen this person. I can still get in because the relationship was established. And one of the things that's happening, and this is why I use the term progressive black people and non-progressive black people. The progressive black people are creating those networks. Those networks are so important. And a lot of people like are getting rid of people or kicking people out the network and stuff. It's just crazy. Uh, what's up, Dwayne? Erica Williams, that's the biggest reason you see the disconnect between black folks. It's like get to work mindset versus victim story. <laughs> Oh, Erica's time in the manosphere has has she got <laughs> Oh man. Uh I'm I'm gonna do a channel about that. I'm gonna talk about it today. I am Bayless 70 80 80k combined. It's not middle class. I mean it it yeah, I'm sorry. It is middle class. Uh upper middle class is hundred to two hundred K. So yes, yeah, seventy eighty K combined. Depending on where you are. If you're in New York or California, no, you just pull, baby. You just po. Oh, yeah. see, there's a there's a whole group of black folks in general who've never been poor. They have none of. They just never been poor. And when you have such a wide experience of people being black, people being poor, which is the overarching narrative. I got cousins who were Cosby kids. I think everybody can use that and know what that means. And I used to date a few women who were Cosby kids. It's a different groove. 
they have a different set of no and all of them know how to network every cosby kid that i have known or dated they all know they all have vast networks from either i think kevin samuels talked about this with uh the, the fraternities and, and then there's professional groups and here's some, something else too if you want to start a network you can start up a meetup group and begin working on your own network and a lot of people just don't want to do it because they don't want to put that energy forward they just don't want to be that person Uh, Eric Williams says, black people who've been financial business owners since 1920s. My grandpa had a juke jar on the farm. The real estate land that we struggled to hold on made a difference. Yeah, it's called wealth. Like, there's a certain person who talks about this um, wealth gap. And it is true for non-progressive black folks. Progressive black folks. Uh, my Uncle Jimmy owned a real estate firm and had property that he was able to pass on to my cousins. I knew someone I grew up with. His name's Jason. He and his family moved to California and his father became a producer. I remember they came back one summer driving a Porsche. I just knew that was a nice car. I didn't know what a Porsche was. If you go to California, you go to Maryland, you will see deep net networks of large pools of wealthy black folks. But people don't want to. People act like they don't exist. Only way you can make some money is carrying that ball, throwing that rock. It's not true. Erica, my mom was your mom an officer? You didn't know, like full birds, like lieutenant colonels, generals, and stuff. They get like six figures in retirement. Because a lot of them do 30 years and get that 75 percent. I, I would imagine so she's living well on 100K. <laughs> I would imagine so. Dwayne Brown, if you don't want to take Coach G's words about raising children in the hood, then take mine. I used to pay 3500 for a six-month car insurance policy for one car because I switched my Whoa. <laughs> now I pay 1600 for six months for two cars. Yeah, Lawrence Owens, Lawrence Owens Graham has been around a long time. Oh, that's funny. Eric Williams, I met four vice presidents of the banks volunteering with the United Way. Got off for four jobs today as a senior in college. Volunteering makes a difference. I actually did some volunteering. I got some other stuff. And it, it blew my mind. But uh, Tool Bank of Atlanta, I volunteered for them. And then I did a little stuff for uh, Big Brothers. And then I volunteered to speak at a few schools. I'm going to say this and I got to go. I met some of the best women when I was volunteering. I'm talking about truly good people. So if you looking for good women, volunteer. It, it will shock you. It will shock you what you will come across. So with that, I'll catch you guys later. For those of you who want to enroll in the courses, the links are below. And I will see y'all in the next. What's going on? This is a little different, but I thought I would explain to you guys what the new situation is. It's digital education, how to make money online. I'm finally getting around to teaching the things that I do or currently doing. And this is going to be Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills isn't going anywhere. I'm going to go through what's happening with that tomorrow. But what I'm going to do is this is going to be my main focus the rest of the year in 2020 what this is because you know there, there's so many people who talk about how to make money online and you'll have an fba course or you'll have a how to run ads course but there's no comprehensive curriculum that's going to answer all of your questions i'm in a click funnels group and i just look at all the questions that people are asking and 
just they just don't have the comprehensive online education so what i'm putting together and this is from learning from this this is b school for hustlers um funny thing is i i created this about three years ago and i created a stripe account for it and the stripe account was still open so apparently they don't have a problem with b school for hustlers so in, in any case we could get around that but let me take you through the whole process now this will include an updated version of the art of holding and i'm going to get into that so you got two ways to get in here 1600 one and done and 18 times 125 per month so you got two ways to get in here and this pricing is just going to be available while i'm beginning because once i build out a course and the course is done then i'm going to raise the price of this because this is the there's not much there pricing with more to come so one of the things that you know we're going to do and let's see um really don't want to be there let's do this let's go to b school for hustlers you like that you like that you're the lion the zebra is the money go get that money that's the world we live in all right here it is so what we're going to talk about is this is going to include nine courses once again the courses are not done as these courses come online like how to market and sell on youtube that will be a course and you know it's not 100 percent ready and how to make more money from broke dick danny to pay percy that's going to be a course the strategic holding company how to set up and deploy there's going to be a ton of information from the art of holding plus additional information going forward the google ads course how to run successful and profitable ads how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit the hustlers mindset course how to change your thinking for abundance i'm going to go deep there how to make money with content, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. The money management course, how to prep your financial love for happiness and joy. And the money game, how to play and win. So what you're going to be doing is getting, because I don't really know how long it's going to take me to build out all these courses. And, you know, need to get rid of that because um, because I'm already got I'm adding stuff here and I need to go ahead and change that because I will have people trying to get into this but i'm going to teach you everything you need to know to set up a rugged durable online business because one of the things is like with these other courses and they're good courses they're not bad but the thing is, you're not getting the full deal. You're not getting a comprehensive, uh-huh. So we're going to do this for, because I'm going to add more to this. $2.99. Let's get rid of that free. But essentially 
this is going to be everything you need to start a successful online business or a collection of online businesses because the Google ads course, because, you know, I don't know how to do Facebook ads, but I know how to do Google ads. So I'm going to do a course on that. I know how to sell and create online courses. I'm going to do a course on that. I got the money management thing. I know how to market and sell on YouTube, do a course on that, how to make money with content. I'm going to, lay out some stuff that you know many people don't understand and this is just going to be fun i could build this out in maybe three months i could build it out in six months i'm giving myself six months to build this out so you will have these courses they will be done they'll be available you will be able to use this information to make money pretty much if you're on a payment plan before you pay for this i want you to think about that because it's going to be like an online school you know and i'm thinking about adding some more stuff to it and i will say this that if i add any more stuff to it before 2020 that also will be included in the pricing that i put out Cause there's some stuff I'm mulling over because you know I'm thinking this is pretty much it um, this is the things that I do these are the things I know how to do these are the things I make money with and if I add anything else that will be part of this deal and once again the pricing is there's not much there the money management how to prep your financial life and happiness and joy that's going to be done very quickly and that's going to be your first course and what's going to be different about this than um hustlers kung fu life skills is you're going to do the money management course first you're going to do the hustlers mindset course second then you're going to do how to make more money from broke dick danny to pay percy third and then we're going to get into the strategic holding company there will be a certain sequence that you will take these courses in where they make sense because let's take the money management course. What's the use in you making money if you're just going to blow it big willy style? If you're just going to not properly do what you need to do. You, you, it, it's just, you know, you're going to create more problems for yourself. You go out and you start making more money and you have bad money management habits. You're going to like, Maybe develop a drug dependency problem. Um, like the video I put on Disruptive Mail, you may be going out buying hookers and blow and think that's a good idea where to put the money versus putting the money into long-term asset building processes. So that's going to be the first course. Everyone's going to take that. And you, you get all of this. And I will <clears throat> go ahead and stress, as I build these out, I'm going to change the price of the offer right this pricing is you know because i'm pretty much going to do the hustlers mindset course after the money management course then we're going to get how to make more money from broke dick danny to pay percy uh, i'm pretty much going to go through those really quickly i might get those done before the end of the year and then uh, the strategic holding company I've got probably 75% of the content already. So that's going to go very fast. So there will be a lot here for you to do, learn and process and begin doing very, very quickly, very, very quickly. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand is for you folks who are going to take advantage of the payment plan, I made the payment plan very affordable. Um, you're going to get all of this stuff before you finish paying. So fortunately, when I do payment plans, I have a very good, you know, high completion rate. And most people are honorable. So I'm going to trust you guys to be honorable. And also something else that's going to happen. Now, this isn't the T-shirt. That isn't the t-shirt. <clears throat> I'm going to craft a designer and we're going to come up with a digital citizen t-shirt. 
and that's also included in the course. It may be a long sleeve. I may do a long sleeve. I'm going to work on that tomorrow. But I feel that this is a well-rounded curriculum for you to make money online. Because I know a lot of you don't want to do YouTube, but I'm telling you, the power of YouTube is sick. I mean, you know, let's just keep it honest. Like, uh, my main channel, it ain't really doing the YouTube thing, but just on the AdSense, you know, level, I do 1500 to 3000 a month, and my channel really ain't bumping the way that, you know, because... Uh, this is the reason I'm starting new channels because I started one new channel. I'm going to start some more because the algorithm is favoring new channels like you wouldn't believe. And, you know, like disruptive mail, disruptive mail makes consistent money. And I'm, I'm taking some of the new training that I had and I'm applying it to disruptive mail and I'm starting to see results. So and how to make money with content. <clears throat> We're going to discuss how to create the right type of content because you got to have the right stuff. So <clears throat> this is the new deal. And this is a combination because I woke up this morning really early and I started working on this. And all this happened today. I built this out today. I strategized it. I've been really, really thinking about it in my mind. I've been thinking about it. And now that, you know, it's fully out of my head, I felt very productive. I felt very energized. I felt really, really good that this thing is done. So this is what's going to drop. This is what's going to happen. And the link it will be below because you will be taking the money management course. There's already content there. There's training already there. And I'll get that finished before you can go through the whole course. And we will get this. So this is what it is. And if you want to start an online business, you know, like I said, there's a few other courses I'm thinking about doing, but I haven't committed to them. So they're not there. But if I do add these courses before the end, you know, because it will be before the end 2020. I will include that in this offer, the t-shirt. We will be having webinars. There, there's a lot of stuff because like I'm, I'm going back to how I used to do it. So we're going to have webinars where you could come in and ask questions. It will not be live streams on YouTube. And we will be able to chop this up. So I, like I said, I feel very, very productive. I feel that this is going to be amazing for you because, you know, the Google Ads course, I mean, if you're going to create any kind of website, you got to learn how to run ads. Yes, you can get organic traffic, but it is super slow. And, you know, getting organic traffic can take years. And hands down, because you, you, will, you will actually start, you know, seeing me run ads and stuff. Because I've got... A budget I'm gonna start running ads and I'm gonna do a course after I get to running this so and you know how to create and sell online courses for fun and profit that's gonna be a winning class so there's a ton of value here for you if you want to start an online business and for those folks who don't want the whole thing as each course gets built out, then that will be made available to you. And it ain't going to be cheap. Um, like your best bang is to get on the payment plan or to get the $1,600 deal now. That's your best deal. All right. This is Glendon. I will see you guys later. If you want to be part of this experience, this monumental educational experience, the link is below. So with that, I'll talk to you guys later.